All right, good morning, Jason. Good morning. Welcome to the uh, interviews on behalf of the Traders Hideout and the Traders Place. We're basically just chatting to, to general people that are in the trading business. It's not really about money or prestige or anything like that. It's just really, yeah, how do you fit into the into the paradigm? How do other people who are in the trading business uh, starting out, trying to find their way through everything, uh, how do they fit in compared to people who are prepared to talk about it? So thank you very much for taking part. Pleasure. What made you decide to, to trade in the first place? Uh, I was just looking for a way to make a bit more extra pocket money, a um, bit of a challenge. Uh, yeah, excited about the prospect of not having to work a job as such. Um, and uh, also, if it wasn't my own business, I wouldn't need to have staff or um, carry stock or, you know, chase debtors up for money and things like that. So it seemed like a good option. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay no that's a good reason it's a good reason and then which markets and time frames do you focus on um i actually looking at the moment at all charts that reveal a specific setup that i'm trying to track um so all currencies pairs um majors and minors as well as all indices okay so on the one hour time frame so you're quite busy then eh? well the setups only happen um, pretty infrequently okay. uh, and yeah so I have to I set alerts and stuff on the systems and then hope it triggers oh fair enough now the more charts you have especially systems that don't trigger regularly uh, you do need more charts to, to actually make up the money at the end of the day yes uh, what have you found most difficult about trading um, I struggle quite a bit with um risk management and psychology those are like the two um main areas i'm i'm struggling with I, I still am very cavalier in placing trades and yeah i just i i i, I tend to lose too much on a single position I, I don't stick i don't have hard and i know the rules i know like you know <laughs> stick to one percent risk per trade or two percent uh -huh. if you set that as a rule and have a a daily loss of maximum of four percent of your trading accounts and things like that but i never actually stick to those i see much bigger swings on my account so i've got to work on that a lot do you know why you think like that I, i'm still in the gambling mentality i'm not in the traders mentality um, okay so you're I mean, looking for the big score yeah i'm I, you know, I, like I said, I've lost quite a bit of money already in the trading game and I, I'm trying to make it all back today. Uh -huh. And I haven't yet got to just calm everything down and stick at, you know, hacking little bit by little bit by little bit by little bit. Okay. Well, as long as you're working on it. Yeah, I'll get there. But I've said I'll get there for a long time as well. So, you know, <laughs> but I will get there. Like I think, I think you mentioned earlier, you know, 10 years, um, I, I don't plan to do 10 years worth of uh, work before I'm successful. Maybe the 10,000 hours might be a better benchmark. But oh, 10,000 hours are doing the wrong thing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to, I mean, I, like, I feel like you've got to feel your way through it. Uh, uh, you have um, to. Yeah. You have to find what works for you, find your feet, and then stop trying to hit the home run. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm confident I'll crack it. I'm just of course you'll. And trying to enjoy the journey while I'm getting there as best as I can, you know. No, but it's but sore at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> what, have you, what have you found most interesting about trading? Um, I think trading is actually a, a very personal thing. Like, you know, since I've started my trading journey, a lot of my friends have said, like, how's it going? And can I show them things? And I'm like, I can show you anything you want to see about trading, but it's so up to you what you see. Um, and you're going to have to spend your own time figuring out what's right for you personally. Uh, you know, yeah, it's, 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 it's a philosophical side to, to trading that I find quite interesting. And it's, it's just me against me at the end of the day. I know the markets yeah. are me against everyone in a zero sum game. In theory, I know you disagree theory. with that, but yeah, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, 
<laughs> but it's it's just me against me at the end of the day. Like if I could solve my simple dilemmas, like I say to you, I know about risk management, and just stick to a rule, I'd, I'd probably see a lot better success from the get go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think the difference between um, guys that are struggling and guys that have been through it all is the market is not your friend and it's not your enemy. You know, it is what yeah. you make it out to be. So our job as traders really is to ride the market, not try and change the market. Yeah, agreed with that. I totally mm. can see that. Being and that's, that's very hard. You know? Human beings are not made to follow. We struggle with it, especially traders. I suppose most people might be considered cheap. But as traders, we're a little bit contrary. You know, we're not the usual run-of-the-mill person when it comes to attitude. So we can be quite um, hard-nosed about things, stubborn. Yeah. You know, we, we can be argumentative. Um, and when that personality trait comes into the market, it's quite dangerous. So we yeah. kind of have to learn to change from fighting the market to actually just riding the market. Yeah, I mean, I saw that, that, that famous quote that says, the market can stay irrational longer than I can stay solvent. But there's a yes. trader whose Twitter handle is, in fact, I can stay irrational longer than the market can stay solvent. <laughs> because you're so right. Like, we so think we can figure things out. But we, you know, yeah. that's clearly irrational. If you're a rational person, you can actually probably trade quite quickly. Uh, no, rational people actually don't trade very well. Uh, <laughs> well think about it you know the market should be falling but it's going up that's not rational if you're rational you would never make a trade yeah so yeah, yeah we are kind of irrational most of the time <laughs> we want to short the tops and buy the bottoms you know and we'll we'll spend yeah. hours and hours and hours of our lives trying to do that so true that's exactly what i'm trying to figure out all the time i'm, I'm merely trying to find the turnaround points in the market and to your point i've got to get on the trend a third of the way into the movement i can jump on and still make two thirds out of the movement you yeah. know or well, even if you just but make no. a third at a time you know 33 percent of the trend is 33 percent profit yeah. yeah but anyway i mean we we live and learn uh, it is a process nobody's a perfect trader uh, everybody makes losses everybody does some wins <clears throat> it's just about uh, accumulating the winners and uh, cutting the losers, you know. And that sounds yeah. it's so cliched because it's true. So on the on the other side of that question, um, you know, what is the the easiest part of trading? Um, what have yeah, you found I the think, easiest? I, I, I mean, I know I answered like, is there actually an easy part? Like, because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there's so much to polish and, and um, so many skills to improve on all the time. But I mean, I, I know I said I've practiced taking a lot of losses that hurt and, um, uh, but I just get up and go again. Um, so I'm, I'm learning to love my losses quite good. So I've, I've got good at that. Um, but out of psychology, risk management strategy, I would have to say that I'd, out of, I, I Strategy has to be the result of the easiest part because I specifically am struggling with psychology and risk management. Mm -hmm. um, but strategy, I, I quite enjoy spending my time back testing and looking for um, certain strategies that will actually yield good things. I, I, can find, I can find some strategies and I can write down the rules of strategies and I can become pretty mechanical around a, a, a strategy. So that's quite cool. Yeah, that is cool, eh? Because... Most people are looking for the crystal ball, but they don't really know why. And if you're interested in strategy, then generally speaking, what happens is you, you find your way. You yeah. know what I mean? It's not, uh, it's not a case of, um, yeah, I've got to find this, I've got to find this. It's more a case of, gee, this is interesting. I wonder how that would work. I'm assuming that's the approach you've taken. Yeah, totally. And, and then I, I, I go and I just play back charts after chart and yeah. see if this happens here what would i do there oh that still works out okay cool that's showing potential how does it work out here how does it work up there great well that analysis is going to stand you in good stead going forward because then at least you know when something works yeah so and 
what what gets you excited so that's the easiest part of trading obviously the most interesting we've covered there as well what gets you excited about this every day um i, I quite like the potential like uh, so so trading to me is is the most directly aligned to making money um you know like i don't have to go sit in an office where i have to talk politics with people i can just work my job and try and make money for the time I want to make money. If I want to be philanthropic, then I can go and just be philanthropic mm -hmm. for that time, like in another time space or time block, let's say. Um, so I, from, from that perspective, the potential to make good money and a good living off of something that I am solely responsible for creating uh, gets me quite excited. Like, yeah, compound, compounding my capital over time. Great stuff. I think we all get excited about making money, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, it, because it does, it, it makes you now responsible for the outcome of your life. There's exactly. Else. And that's a very empowering thing as well. You know, yeah. I, I would love to get to the point where I can say, oh, I'll make 10% of my money. And I know I will this coming month again. And I know I will the month after. Like, if you can say anything you want to, but I know I'll do it again and again and again. Mm -hmm. um, I want that confidence and, and then, you know, it just ramps up from there. Excellent. No, that's, that's a great idea. Um, and it's, it is the way to look at it. Uh, trading at the end of the day is a business. It's all about the money. Yeah. Uh, if it wasn't about exactly. the money, why do it? Exactly. Uh, but I, I do like to see it as a computer game. Um, oh, where I've got to make <laughs> points per month or, or, and my points could be rands. I haven't yet yeah, yeah. finally decided on that, but like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, there's a challenge to it. And you know, I can it go is, from yeah. beginner computer game player to expert. All right. Very interesting take there, computer game. Um, I can see the connection <laughs> there. Because it is, it's like a bit of a, a shoot 'em up, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. In a I mean, the fact that it's just bars on a screen is one thing, but it it may well be like people I'm trying to shoot down. Like you could <laughs> use the data and and change the picture, but the data could be exactly the same. Yeah. Okay. No, perfect. And then yeah. yeah, through all of that, do you do you actually have a percentage of capital as a target on a daily or a weekly or monthly basis, maybe an annual basis? Um. Yeah, I mentioned in my um initial response that I, I'd be looking for 10% per week. Um, uh, uh, but I, at the moment, I kind of just go for maximum gains so I can feel out what's actually, what the strategy could yield um, before I can actually decide on what a good um, profit target of, of, on the money side is. But yeah, you know, I'd like to hit 10% per week um, because if I don't hit 10% per week, then maybe it results in 10% per month off weeks which is mm. the base that i'm going for all right well i mean a, a target is just a target um it can't be cast in stone because some weeks you might make 30 percent uh but if you stopped trading at 10 percent profit you wouldn't make the extra 20 you know what i mean thank so you yeah it's good to have like a an idea of of what you would consider a good outcome yeah. You know, rather than, I don't like fixed targets personally. Uh, if I target 10% a day or, or a week or a month and that becomes a fixed thing, you kind of get depressed if you don't hit it and exuberant if you do hit it. Or even worse, you stop trading once you've hit it. So to have an idea, you know what, if I get 10% a week, I'm actually quite happy. Uh, yeah. That's a much nicer way of, of approaching it. So I hear yeah. yeah, you speak like that. Because uh, it is quite important to have a goal, but yeah, they, these percentage targets for trading uh, can be very misleading. Yeah, I mean, I think I would I would shoot for if if like as a ten percent per week. I would shoot for ten percent per week, and as soon as I've got it, I think I would stop trading. To be honest with you, um, because if you made ten percent per week um, after four weeks, you may in a month you've made a great return like it's probably what 35 percent or something like that on a monthly or even more it's more like 40 something percent actually well, if you compound you your capital yeah. yeah if you compounded your capital but so um 
yeah, to stop trading, I would, I don't think when I say stop trading, I don't think I would stop studying the markets for the, the rest of the time. So let's say I earn for 10% the week and I made it from Monday to by the close of business Tuesday. Yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I would spend trying to continue to understand and hone my skills because I'd hate to give that 10% back over those next three days. <laughs> You know, I want to pocket the gains. No, no, absolutely. You could always take it out the account. <laughs> uh, you, you can make it very complicated, but yeah, at the end of the day, it is a personal thing. You know, yeah. it's, it's a personal thing. Do I want to stop trading when I've hit my goal? Or is it just like a vague idea of, of what would be a good outcome? So uh, it is a very, like you said earlier, you know, trading is a very personal, um, it's a personal endeavor. So you've got to find your own. Yeah. In that, yeah. uh, are you are you actually intending to trade for a living? Is that your yeah most ultimate outcome? Yeah. No, definitely. I think I, uh, uh, I mean, I, I resigned from my job uh, probably a year ago, a year and a half ago now, and uh, yeah, I, I just enjoy doing this. I, I'm not looking to go and do anything else for the rest of my time. I'm 44, but I, I'll trade the markets for the for the next possible future all right and then what would make you stop trading forever yeah i think i have a, a, a maximum amount of capital that i've earmarked for trading and mm -hmm. um i've divided it into a third a third a third like I will, my first third was just to get myself completely um into the deep end and go for it um and i you know, I think your first third, you're going to blow pretty quickly. The second third, you're going to blow a little slower. And the, the last third, you should probably start to turn around and see if you can claw back all of your initial losses. So if I run out of that last third, I think that's a good enough um, sign from the markets to say, you can't play this game anymore. Okay, fair enough. You have to have a stop loss on everything. Yeah. Uh, we have to know, you know, what would what would actually prove to me that this is not my game? Yeah, that's really what the question is about, you know. Okay. Yeah, and, I mean, some days I do wake up and I wonder, am I cut out to even be able to trade? Like, um, but eventually I, I, I find my my fat again, let's say, and I want to go for it again. You know, yeah. so I, I do I do like trading. Like, I do get excited about trading. So. Yeah, I think I need I need a, a money rule as opposed to a, 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 a lifestyle or a, a um, job rule, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, fair enough. Uh, we've got, we've got, you, you do have to, at some point, call it quits. Um, yeah, you can't just keep losing money over and over and over. No, exactly. And then, uh, are you married? Do you have a partner? Yeah, I'm married, yes. Uh, what did they think of this uh, trading endeavor? <laughs> no, I, lots of support. Um, lots of support to, to go down this road. Um, she does think at times I'm gambling, oh. but, uh, you know, just like, shrugs it off when I tell her how small my amounts are that I'm losing at the moment. Um, <laughs> although those are growing, you know, I think it's a little hard to be honest about that stuff as well. Like yes. if someone said, you know, anyone who asks me, like a lot of people seem to know that I started this journey and they're like, how's the trading going? I'm like, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is fantastic. It's interesting. It keeps me occupied. <laughs> <laughs> From that perspective, but if they ask me like money, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> and it is, it's difficult to talk about money from trading to people who don't trade. Yeah. It's, it's the hardest lost. thing yeah. because they just don't understand it. No, I agreed. Yeah. How do you have a concept of trading? You know, when you started trading, did you realize it was going to be like it is? No, I, I, I no, I didn't. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah I, I didn't. So, it's been an interesting game. It really is. Um, like I said, it, it's 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 a weird game actually. Like it, it can be anything you make it out to be. It can be slow moving. It can be fast moving. It can be. Um, you know, volatile, it can be trending, it can be, it's, it can be flat, as anything. You can, yeah. flat as anything, you can 
make lots and lots of money in a day and you can make a little bit so it's, it's weird yeah i'm trying to explain that around a bra the first thing people normally want to will you trade for me <laughs> if i give you some money yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah no i think i i've already thought that through i i, I you know, like I know you can become a funded trader and you can make a bit more money, um, but I, I don't want the pressure of other people's money riding on my back. I, I'd, I'd like to just make a living off my own capital. And that's it. I'd be happy to teach people. Uh, this. Uh, although I, I say I'd teach people my strategy if I figured something out that works. I don't think I would do that either. I, I, I would teach them the general concepts about the market and if they put in the time and worked hard to try and make it for themselves. Maybe I'd give them a hand up as a fellow trader, but um, you know, the, to, to give a strategy away that I've worked really hard on to, to figure out just because someone's showing an interest, I don't think I would, I would be prepared to do that. Mm -hmm. well, that's a fair chip. Until it happens, we'll talk then. <laughs> you know what you decide <laughs> at the time. <laughs> Cause I'm always interested in that, you know, uh, if you if you see the amount of work that you know, we've put into to what we do, um, people often ask us, you know, why do you share it? Well, we charge for it because we're not trading when we're teaching. Yes. And now with the uh, with things have changed now with the whole COVID story, so we're now going to spend even more time trading. So we're charging less. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's more about a time thing than it is actually about the cash side of it um teaching teaching is a uh, I, I don't know a calling um sharing information i think the two of us just enjoy talking to traders i think that's really what it's about um and at some yeah, point when I, when success does hit your your mind changes eh? you know when we were yeah. struggling it was very difficult to to teach with conviction yeah now it's a case of well we know this stuff works so just you know you, you've got to find your way um through everything yeah yeah i mean i, I remember i learned to code um computers from a, a friend who i used to work with or a work colleague mm -hmm. and he would share every single idea that he had around coding as a very good programmer mm. and uh and still till till this day like i really pay that like in any way i can like if if I find something that I think is a negative information worth sharing to him about coding or something like mm. that, I would give it to him without even thinking twice. Sure. Um, and so there's that, I, I get that idea, like, you know, give and you shall receive. Um, mm -hmm. and, and not to receive, don't give to receive. Like, but no, no, definitely, there's, there's a difference. If you, yeah. share this, if you share the strategy freely, you know, you, you You'll get something in return. Richer in other ways besides maybe money. But yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You'll get something in return. If it's the joy of building a community or making friends as other traders or whatever it is, it's something. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, money is just one aspect of life. Though. Yeah. Um, it's something so that true. You, you have to have money to, to live comfortably. But it's, it, it's, it's the wrong way to value your life, I think, in my opinion. Uh, you value your life and your relationships, um, what you do with the money. The other, the other things that go around, uh, my bank balance is not that important. If you know, you know, who cares about yeah, you need, balance? I don't you care need about money to, to, to take, I think you need money to get that freedom. Mm. Um, in a financial freedom, not having to worry about money or yeah. where you buy your bread and your milk or and things like that. Like you can just go out and get that stuff if you want it. Mm -hmm. Like that would be a, a very empowering place to be because then you can really spend the rest of your time because that that's a very limited resource and you can spend that on on the thing that you sh should be truly valuing your health and your family and your friends and, you know stuff like that awesome thank you jason i really enjoyed that chat i hope you did too thank you yes i really did thanks appreciate your time cool Thanks a lot and stay well. Thanks, eh? Chat later. Cheers Ciao. Later. Bye. Bye.